Good morning and welcome back to the Home Renovation Experts. Steve here, back once again with the Renegade Master. That's a quality song. I'm now back on this job. I will be here completing, hopefully, this little bit of composite decking is my plan. So as you can see, basically two thirds of the way through it. So if you want to know how I got this far, don't forget to watch all the previous episodes because literally taking from digging out the old duck in to put the sub base in to get into this level. Uh, but I'm going to continue putting the boards down. And then once I've done that, if you get a tool back off a mate who will be sorting it out, then I'm going to be finishing off the edges as well. Because that's something I didn't mention or at all with fitness. So you can see like, I don't know if you can see it, there you go. Sort of a bit higgly piggly for the cuts. I'm not bothered about that in the slightest because I will be fitting along those edges this lovely edge trim. And I'll show you how I fit that and why I do it retrospectively at this stage uh, with a special tool, the Festool TS55, quality bit of kit. Uh, so essentially what I will be doing is basically putting that uh, the edge in on the deck, marking up where it's gonna sit after sort of taking into account cutting around this, do a mark, and I'm gonna put my um, plunge saw on a rail and I'm just gonna simply chop off all these bits across here, bum, 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 they'll fall down, pick them out, and then put the trim down. So I literally, I end up with a nice trim all the way through. Um, these are obviously going all hickety pink. That was going in that direction, that was going in that direction. But at the end of the day, I've got a straight board. That's gonna look neat here. You won't notice the off shot of that. That's just a nice way to finish here. But I'll show you all that a little bit later on. So, right, I'm gonna finish drinking my cup of tea, and I'm gonna crack on and finish putting these balls down. And then I'll show you a bit something else later on as well. Hello again. Right, do you have a quick look? Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful. I'm purposely not showing you that way for a second because there was a slight question mark over this. You kind of, when you work with different levels, also the grass is higher than where the decking is and it's kind of, you discuss with the clients some possible ideas. Um, but once you kind of get the boards in, you can get a clear line, you can really see what's what and you kind of go, I think this might be a good way to go. So we had a quick discussion and we've landed on having a quick look to see what we think of this. Sleepers, absolutely gorgeous. So they're just plonked in place at the second. I just picked them up from Wix just so the client can come in, have a look, see what's what. But now you can see, obviously decking finished. Well, nearly. Um, this now transitions onto the grass. Around the back, if the client wants to keep it, they just push a bit of soil down into that grab, reseed it, and basically you just make that area flush. Easy peasy when you're mowing your lawn, piece of cake, you've got a definitive clear line, clear edge. And the best bit is you've got a nice natural way of transitioning from the deck up to here. The other thing I like as well is it really gives it that really sleek, it's just that definitive line, that definitive edge, which says here's your decking, there's your grass, which you'd like to walk on, because that's how my brain works. Um, so yeah comment let me know what you think i think that's bloody lovely and at 14 quid a pop really i mean you ain't gonna go wrong are you a pressure treat is gonna last a very very long time the other good thing about these is that if you can't look at that you go dad you know what i don't really like the natural look of it oh great stain it bring the same color as this fence is already gray the deck is gray bring that in gray and the other thing is because of foot traffic if it's gray you're not really gonna notice it either so it, it, these are just brilliant i love them now the other thing is finishing that edge across there there you go see look swing it around like that there you go look beautiful so basically it's just these bad boys like i showed earlier and i'll show you how to do it in a minute so every third one basically i cut a little bit of the decking so a bit of this about 70 mil i'm knocking off at a second screwing it in here and then screwing that to it so basically that won't bend and warp now because obviously it's screwed into it. And I'm using the same screws that come with the packet, so the anthracite screws, so it all matches in, all ties in beautifully. Happy days. But now you can see, that's a much neater finish as opposed to just having, and here's the difference, these sort of cuts around all this. See what I mean, like all different. So having that across there, it's just a nicer, neater finish. Now, the reason that I do this afterwards is because, obviously I've got the tools, so I've got my fest tool, plant tools over the corner, and all I need to do is take my rail, plonk it down over here, 
get this out of the way for a second. Slide this roughly into place. And all I'm gonna do is, all I'm looking for is to find the 55 mil, which is what those um, end joints are. Get it even between, obviously this point. I don't mind if I have to notch this out a bit, I'll do that. But basically just finding your level. And I'll show you how I do that in a second. Right, Stucky, so this stuff here is 55, okay? So what I've done is these two rails together, pretty much the full length of this cut, which is perfect. So I've gone from the narrowest end, found 60 mil at that end, got 60 mil at this end. They're the two narrowest points. This side, it gets a tiny bit bigger, but it doesn't matter. That gives me my straight line. Now, the reason I do this retrospectively afterwards is because, yeah, theoretically, I could have put that in straight away and then done my cuts to it. But what you tend to find is that you're trying to then equalize perfectly a five mil gap at the joint and then a five mil gap there or be tight there like I'm doing in these ones. Um, and sometimes you just miss the mark and sometimes you end up with a bigger gap, a little bit of a smaller gap and it kind of just looks a bit higgy piggy So what I tend to find is by doing it now, I know I've got the perfect cut all the way through every single board at the same time. And that just makes life a little bit easier. Yeah, there might be a mil gap between this joint because this stuff is still twisted and bowed even once I fixed it in. But at the end of the day, it's it's materials. It's like doing what you've got to do. Yeah, if you stay at it, it's not exactly perfect, perfect, but it bloody is because actually when you're just looking at it, this is a gorgeous finish. So basically just trying to make it as neat as possible at every step, at every level, uh, and just make your life a bit easier. So, you know, this is like I say, unfortunately I've got the right tools. You know, you can hire all this stuff as well, you know, HSS, all that kind of place, if you haven't got it, ask a mate but this will make life a lot easier. So what I've done is set this to a depth of about 30 mil, which is about 21 mil thick. And this is exactly how I shall cut it. And what I've just realized is there's actually like a hose pipe connection. So there's a hose pipe that runs from here all the way up to feed that house. So what I'm gonna double check is, I'll stop the video, I'm gonna double check the depth for that to make sure that my blade doesn't accidentally go through it uh, because that'd be a right pain. And again, it's just being aware of these things and suddenly remembering them and kind of going, right, keep yourself safe, double check stuff, and then we'll see what's what. Oh, double check to make sure I'm not gonna go through it. And uh, yeah, I'm happy now. Right, let's get this cut. Simple as that, and someone's phoning at the same time. So that is how you get it cut. Right, so they're obviously now pulled out, happy days. Now for the last bit, so obviously, you know, I can't get the rail, I can't get these sawing. So all I do is pencil. This is all perfectly lined up with here, so that's straight. I then run a pencil mark up like that, just so I know what's what and who's where and why, and all that kind of jazz. And then I'm gonna grab my jigsaw. He's miles away, right in the corner. And I'll just jigsaw that last bit, straight cut, for the line, done. And that means the whole thing is now trimmed and nearly ready for edging. So, now you can see, I've now chopped a little Yui out of that, so that'll now sit around there. So you can now see it's gonna fall back there. But I'm gonna do that annoying thing, and I'm gonna say, come back tomorrow, because that's it for the day. It's about half past three, quarter to four. And uh, when I go back, you know, I want to see my little one, see my wife. So I'm going to go back home for a cup of coffee now. But what I might do with this one is tomorrow, because the floor is quite high, high here. Well, I might dig down, see if I can actually get it to allow for this to sort of dip in there. If not, I'll just take the fest tool and I'm going to whip this back end off all the way through. But that's all to play for. I'll have a proper size of it tomorrow, but that's a great start because that's the hardest part now. Getting it all zipped off, getting that cut around. That's just a bit finicky sort out and let's get it done tomorrow. But apart from that, I'm very, very happy. You should be happy too. Uh, don't forget, if you like what you've seen, 
Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all those bits and pieces massively helps me out, uh, which I really enjoy. So yeah, if you've got to this stage, like I said yesterday, when it's YouTube videos, then please just subscribe um, because there's lots of like other tips and tricks always coming. I'm always busy doing stuff and I want to show you people how to do this stuff so you can do it yourself. In the meantime, have a nice evening and I'll see you tomorrow.